I wanted to do a quick uh, little video on this piece I just got back a couple days ago. Just now getting around to doing a video on it. Um, uh, if you remember a couple weeks ago, I did this video on uh, Jeffrey Dahmer hand-signed uh, envelope clipping. Um, here it is right here. Well, this is the finished product of it all being framed, matted, you know, real nicely. Guys, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I mean, this is, in my mind, this is like museum quality piece right here. I mean, it's just, it's immaculate, the colors on it. Um, you can see with the newspaper article, um, this is a Milwaukee Journal front page newspaper article from Friday, August 2nd, 1991. Um, the headline says, Beyond Dahmer, Case Brings Tensions to Surface. And then it does talk about the, the, the case and, um, you know, the crimes. Um, I'll just read the front sentence here. In two tumultuous weeks, the, the Jeffrey Dahmer affair has evolved from a horror story about a monstrous killer into a, a watershed uh, drama about a city's problems. So it just goes on from there. I mean, it's... Uh, it continues so you can see down here on page five guys i had the head just the main headline framed just to you know give it that you know that that prestige with the with the frame um but the rest of the newspaper is inside this frame um so you know if someday someone ever wanted to take it apart the original whole new entire newspaper is inside this frame which is pretty cool because the newspaper itself is uh collectible in its own right um, blue, gold, and black. Um, the reason why I went with this color scheme for this particular frame, and don't let me take credit for this. I had a lot of help from the, um, alley up at the framing place. Um, she's, uh, the lead framer there, and she's very good at what she does. Anyway, um, the... Uh, blue is for in the blue and the M Milwaukee stripe here. So we did like a close enough match blue with that. And then um, the gold, yellowish gold, is obviously for the Dahmer uh, clipping, the signed clipping. And then the black and gold is for the black and gold nameplate. So it keeps it all kind of uniform together. I mean, this is, like I said, guys, this is like a museum type piece here. I'm very happy with it. Um, and I got a few updates for you too, real quick. Um, just try not to drag the video out, but it's just so, you know, this piece is so nice. I just want to talk about it. Um, I happen to be watching this movie here titled Serial Killer Culture. I just got it not too long ago. And damn it, guys, if, if I can let you know that <laughs> this piece here, the signed, uh, mailing envelope hand signed by Dahmer, is actually in this DVD, in this movie. Um, the person I bought it from is this guy here. His name is Bill Schaefer. He owns, uh, is this, um, owner of Hyena Gallery in California, and he actually showed this exact piece in this, in this DVD. There's a, um, a little section where it pops up in there, and I was blown away that you know i actually have this piece now and it was a feature in this serial killer culture uh dvd <clears throat> um so yeah very happy about that just a little added bonus and then here's um this is from hyena i'll read it to you real quick thank you for your recent purchase of the jeffrey dahmer mailing envelope clipping this true crime artifact features a wisconsin prison stamp and the return address is handwritten by deceased uh, convicted serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer. This brief letter should serve to attest that this item is completely original and authentic. And authentic, true, uh, authentic and actually signed by Jeffrey Dahmer. The item was obtained by Hyena Gallery from respected and noted true crime collector author Rosenblatt. It was originally intended to be part of an exhibit in the Mojo Museum Project, uh, Museum of Justice and Oddities in Los Angeles, California, 
but falling but a falling out between the partners caused the museum to never open. As you know, Jeffrey Lionel Dahmer, May 21st, 1962, November 28th, 1994, also known as the Milwaukee Cannibal, was an American serial killer sex offender who committed rape, murder, and dismemberment of 17 men and boys between 1978 and 1991. Uh, with many year, uh, with many of his later murders also involving necrophilia cannibalism and permanent preservation of body uh, per, um, bleh, um preservation i don't know that's well he saved the body parts guys um typical of all of or part of the skeletal structure typically um, although diagnosed with borderline schiz uh, personality disorder, schizophrenia, personality disorder, and psychological disorder, Dahmer was found to be legally sane at the time of his trial. Convicted of 15 of 16 murders he had committed in Wisconsin, Dahmer was sentenced to 15 terms life imprisonment, 92. He later sentenced to 16 term life imprisonment, additional homicide committed in Ohio in 1978. On November 28, 94, Dahmer was beaten to death by prison, uh, in prison by Christopher Scarver, a fellow inmate at the Columbia Correctional Institute. I hope this fascinating piece of history and pop culture associated with Jeffrey Dahmer becomes an important part of your personal collection. Sincerely, Bill Schaefer, owner of uh, Hyena Gallery. And here's the certificate of authenticity on the back side here from bill and hyena gallery guys i'm blown away and check this out <laughs> even better is that little bit that i just read to you check this out little folder right on the back so i can slide the document right in there okay so when i hang on the wall it's all one kit. It's all together. Bam. Awesome, guys. Um, like I said, I'm just happy with this piece. I wanted to show it to you guys as soon as possible. Um, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, drop a comment below. Um, remember to check, uh, check us out on all other social medias, Twitter, Facebook, and so on and so forth. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.